In this video, I'm going to go through the adjustments of the Turbo, IS Turbo CL. And I'll start off with the manual here and show you where the adjustment procedures are in the book. You have to go to the back, the back of the book. After page 24, that's where the adjustment procedures begin. And on this page, it tells you how to get into the adjustment mode so you can change some of the settings on your machine. This is the paragraph that's important. To enter the adjustment mode, hold the red single stitch button down while powering up the unit. The button should be held down until the machine stopped beeping. Stop beeping. Okay, I've got to remember how many beeps did my machine make when I powered it up. Mine's on at the moment. Let me turn it off. And I'll turn it on again just to remind myself how many beeps it made. So I'm turning it on. Okay, it made two beeps. So I have to hold down the red button on my handle until I hear the two beeps. So I'm going to turn off the power because I want to get into adjustment mode. And I'm going to press down that red single stitch button and hold it down as I power up. Okay, it made the two beeps, so I released that button. The needle did not go up and down. That's telling me I'm in adjustment mode. Also notice the light above the laser button is flashing. That's also telling me I'm in adjustment mode and I can make adjustments to the settings on my machine. So I'm going to turn the page in my book. And the first adjustment is the needle positioning speed auto adjustment. Usually this set, running this auto adjustment sets everything to right. Now why would you want to run it? You'd want to run it if you find that the thread isn't pulling up from the bobbin and you have to turn the hand wheel to release the thread or the needle is maybe stopping too low. Then run the needle positioning speed auto adjustment and this is how we do it. it. You need to do it over a quilt and you need to do it with your machine threaded. So I'm making sure that I've got my bobbin thread pulled up to the top. I, I think I may have a bit of a jam there. I'm going to use my hand wheel to bring it up. There's my bobbin thread. So I'm going to hold those two ends. Alright, good. So it says uh, Turn the selector dial to B1, and you need to do the adjustments at the back of your machine, not at the needle end, at the back end. So the dial I'm going to set to B1. All right. And then I'm going to hit the red button, the red single stitch button. I'm going to hold my thread ends. When I hit this red single stitch button, I will hear three fast beeps. After that, I can let go of the red button. Then the machine will start to stitch. And I'm just going to move the machine so that the threads don't get all knotted up as it's stitching. All right, here we go. I'm going to hold down the red button. Let go. The machine is just stitching all by itself. Three beeps tell me it's finished. So it has readjusted itself. The take-up lever should now raise up to the correct position after each stitch it's all done. So that's usually all you need to do to set any problems to rights um, if you're having trouble with the, the thread not releasing or the, the needle stopping too close to the fabric. Now if you find that um, as you're stitching you're seeing the fail light go off a lot as you're stitching which means that the stitches are too long and no matter how slowly you move the machine you're still seeing that fail light go off it usually means that you need to speed up your regulated stitching speed. And that's the next adjustment in the book. Um, I'm going over to this page, page 3, and it's telling me to set the dial so that it's pointing to the number 6. So I will do that. Now this time, when I hit the red button on the handle, I will hear a series of, of, of uh, beeps, long and short beeps, and I need to listen to those um, because it will tell me the speed it's set at right now. Okay, let me do it again. It was long, short, long. And if I look at my little Morse code here, mine is here. Long, short, long. So it's plus five. 
Now we've added the beeps so that if someone is helping you over the phone, they know how fast or how slow your machine is set. Um, I'm going to slow down, um, I'll slow it down and then speed it up so you can see how we make that adjustment. So if I, um, um, if I want to slow it down a bit, um, I'm going to press the down button here so that light comes on. Now I'm going to hit my red button on the handle and I will keep that button pressed down. Now, okay, there's the signal. Now I'm going to hit the black button on the other handle. My red button is still held down. There's one beep. Now I'm let go of both buttons. Now I'll hit the red button again and we'll hear that the little Morse code has changed. See, it went down to plus four, long dot dot. Let me do it one more time. Hold the red button. Hit the black button, let go of both. Now I'm going to hit the red button again. And I can hear it's gone down one more step. Okay, to raise it up to make it faster, I'm going to turn off this down light button. This, yes, the down button. I'm going to hit the red button on the handle. Okay, I'm keeping it pressed down as I hit the black button. Now when I hit the red one again, it's gone up, it's raised up one. So let me do that again, hit the red button, hit my black button, hit the red button again, and it's back up to plus five, which is where it's a good setting for my machine. Um, like I say, you need to increase that setting if you find you're getting long stitches all the time. Come in and increase your regulated stitching speed. On the other hand, if you find that your machine is taking two stitches instead of one, it's double stitching, then you need to reduce your regulated stitching speed. All right. So now we'll move on. I'll turn the page and we'll go to the next, uh, the next adjustment. Needle up, down position adjustments. I don't need to do that. Most of you will not need to do that. Um, it's, it's there for machines that are that are extremely stiff mechanically where IS has a hard time doing the auto adjustment most people you don't even need to do these so just ignore those pages I'm going over here to maximum constant speed this is going to increase the speed of the motor when I have the dial set to maximum when I'm not using the regulated stitching so in order to increase this speed or decrease it you move your dial to max. Now when I, I'm going to hit the red button on the handle, the machine will start stitching, so I need to keep moving it. I'm going to keep that pressed down to keep it stitching. And if I think that I need to speed up, I'll hit the black button on the handle. So here we go. And I think you could hear it speeding up. Um, if, uh, if you feel that, that that maximum speed is too fast, then you can also slow it down. And we'll slow it down by hitting the down button. Again, I'm going to hit and hold down the red button. And I'm, then I'll continually press, keep pressing the, the black button to reduce the speed. And you can really hear it slowing down. I need to speed it up, so I'll turn off the down light, hit this. That's good. Now, you only that, that seems awfully fast when you're doing the test, um, because it's not really, you're not in a real stitching situation. You need to go, after you've set that, you need to go and do some actual quilting to see if that really is fast enough for you, or if you need to speed it up some more. So that's the adjustments for the IS Turbo CL. Very simple, um, just follow the directions in the book. You need to get into adjustment mode first, indicated, you know you're in it because you see that laser light flashing there. To get out of adjustment mode so you can stitch again, all you do is turn the power off, turn the power on again, and you're ready to stitch. Okay, good.